So you want to add a texture pack or resource pack to Minecraft. Maybe it's like this one here, Excalibur. Maybe it's another one like Spax BBD Craft, Faithful, Doku Craft, or John Smith Legacy. It could be any Minecraft resource pack or texture pack. And guess what? This video is going to show you how to install it. Now, first things first, what you're going to want to do is make sure that Minecraft is in fact closed. And then we want to download some resource packs. The second link in the description down below, we have this. This is our list of 15 resource packs for Minecraft 1.20. It's by no means inclusive and this will work with other resource packs you've found elsewhere. It will also work with weapons packs and different things like that. But for this video, let's go ahead and pick a few of my favorites. One is John Smith Legacy. We'll also go ahead and grab Spax Pure BD Craft here. And last but not least, we'll grab the one we were just using, which is Excalibur here. All of them are great packs, so you can't go wrong with any of the packs on our list. There are really tons of other ones out there. We can't include them all on our list, sadly. Once you're here, this is Curse Forge, and it's very common that resource packs are hosted on Curse Forge, but John Smith Legacy and Spax aren't, which is why I chose those two, in addition to me liking the packs. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Files if you're on Curse Forge, and you'll want to find the most recent version. Now, any Minecraft 1.20 plus pack is going to work in 1.20.2. You just have to do one more step and we'll be doing that in this video. But as you can see, this is for 1.20 and the 1.20.2 snapshot. So we're going to click the three dots here and click download file. This will start downloading and while it's downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you'll get one-click installation of mod packs, easily set up plugins, and you can add individual mods to your servers as well. You can also get a vanilla server. Anything you want to do with your server, you can do it. Alongside the fact that if you have any issues, we have live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting. Get the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, here we are. The download is now finished. You may need to keep or save it, but generally you won't. Now we also want to download our other two packs here. John Smith Legacy. This is a dedicated guide to getting John Smith. Just click download here. And like I said, this is a bit different because if you go ahead and try to download this for first one, it's not going to work because this is for Minecraft Bedrock and this guide is for Minecraft Java. So we want to make sure we're going into the Java version and clicking download there. Now for Spax, it's an even different setup because at Spax, you're going to need to agree to basically their terms in order to download it. It also gives me a quick example to explain what this is in texture packs, which is the resolution. If we look here, the resolution is going to change depending on where this slider is. And as you can see, 512, look how clean these lines are. If we go down to 16x, things are a lot more blocky. So that's what the difference in resolution is. Now, this is currently locked behind their supporter tier. I'm guessing when the next version comes out, it won't be. But we can go ahead and download an older version here just because I want to show you what it looks like when you download this. And here's what I was talking about with accepting the terms of use an older pack, a 1.19 pack. It actually is not horrible, but things can get a bit weird. So I do want to mention and show you what that looks like. Once this download is ready to begin, we can go ahead and click download and it will do just that. It will start downloading right like so. Now, with all these resource packs downloaded, how do we install them? Well, you actually want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. I know I told you to close it at the beginning of the video. I guess I really shouldn't have done that. It wasn't required, but you do need to go ahead and open up Minecraft. And while you're opening up Minecraft, we need to do one more thing, and that is move these resource packs that you downloaded to your desktop. So for me, they're going to be in the downloads folder here. As you can see, Pure BD Craft, John Smith, and Excalibur, wherever your downloads go to, go there and move them to your desktop just because it's going to be so much easier to use these files and move them where we need to move them from your desktop than, let's say, from your downloads folder. Now, I currently have Excalibur installed. Quick jump cut to make that disappear, and now what we can do is add these awesome resource packs to Minecraft. So go ahead and go into options, and then you want to go into resource packs. Again, from the main menu, go into options, resource packs, and then click on the open pack folder button in the bottom left. See that open pack folder? Click on that to open your resource packs folder. Now drag and drop from your desktop all of your resource packs into this resource packs folder. Weapon packs, whatever it is, drag and drop it into here. Now, if we close this, there they all are, but they're all red. They're all warning us that there could be an issue, and there could be, but there's not going to be. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click uh, this play button. When you hover over it, there's a play style button. Click that. Click yes. It will move it to the selected section, and now when you click done, the pack is going to activate. Basically, if a pack's not 1.20.2, it will say it won't work, even though 1.20.1 and 1.20 packs will work. So keep that in mind. Everything is set up here. We can go ahead and, of course, join our Simple Game Hosting server. And once we've joined online in that, the resource pack will be active. Now, one of the really cool things that you can do with a resource pack is you can actually change them in-game. So 
This looks awesome. I love John Smith. It's actually one of my favorite medieval packs. But what if we want to go ahead and uh, check out that older pack here? Pure BD Craft. Well, let's go ahead and click the arrow here to move it over and then click yes to add this over. Now we have two texture packs installed. Basically how this will work is since Pure BD Craft is older, it's going to get those textures first. Anything that Pure BD Craft doesn't have, Cherry, for example, Cherry Blossoms, because those were a 1.20 feature, John Smith will use that texture. And then anything John Smith doesn't have, it will use default for. So these stack. This is great for a weapons pack. If you want to add a weapons pack and another resource pack, put the weapons pack first, and then the pack under that is what will be the rest of the textures. So go ahead and click done here, and it will reload. And sure enough, we will have SPAC PD craft. Unless, of course, we go in here and get a cherry tree and grow it, because the cherry blossom is not going to be in this version. So if we go ahead place this down and bone mill it right like so boom there you go this is john smith it doesn't really fit well but that's okay because it's at least the texture pack below this meaning everything is working as it should so there you have it that is how you can add and change your texture pack in minecraft you want to turn it all these off you would go into resource packs and then you would move them all over and click done and then of course if you wanted to activate excalibur you can do that as well so if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing minecraft content every single day of the week and enjoy your new resource pack we'll see you in the next one peace